All right, so I want to show you guys how I made a riot shift gearbox type of punch. This is a really cool technique that I did on accident when I was trying to do kick rolls when I was uh, testing out this kick I made. So this is the kick that will be, uh, I'll be showing you this kind of riot shift kick. So I accidentally made it by using one of a kick I was testing, which I made the same day. So uh, I'm going to get a kick like this. And I basically just, I think I just chopped it because I want to do like a kick. But I wanted to make it like stretched. So I basically just stretched it out. That sounds you know stretched i think i use monophonic and i just basically cut it so that's kind of how you get the that's how you can kind of get that technique um, in so you can that's how you get the punch I just keep stretching it uh, find what what's a good um, stretching algorithm for logic I use monophonic uh, I'm not sure what you can use in Cubase or FL Studio or Ableton but you kind of just play around so uh, this is what it sounds like the original the one that I made I just put some low uh, cuts some reverb and some bit crushing the bit crusher is just for some drive. So you get, I just added a house kick on here. Um, and I'm back in a transient back again. So yeah, that's pretty interesting how to, you know, these techniques are pretty interesting. So now you get that. Let me just, yeah, I'll just, there you go. You can. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. That's all I did. It's really just getting, if you have a kick already, like a gate kick, something like really tight, you could just get that and just kind of stretch it. And if it's, if it's not stretched enough, just keep stretching it. And yeah, pretty cool trick. So here's the final result. Uh, 